Hello, this Java tutorial is to learn the concept of two dimensional array. Here we are discussing a Java program to find the sum of diagonal elements of an n by n matrix. The program logic is written within the main class itself. Inside the main method, we have declared three variables, three integer variables, n, m is the two-dimensional array to store the matrix, and the variable total is used to store the sum of diagonal elements of the matrix. The scanner object is created to read the data from the user. The next int method of the scanner class is used to read an integer number and it gets stored into the variable n. The variable n indicates the size of the square matrix. Now we initialize the size of the two dimensional matrix variable name equals new data type data type is int followed by the size of row and the column the size of row and column both are same here because it is a square matrix. Using a nested for loop, using a nested for loop, we read the data for the matrix. The outer loop is used to indicate the row, and the inner loop with the index variable j is used to iterate through the columns. The data read from the user will get stored into the two dimensional matrix. When the value of i and j are same, the row value and the column value will become the same. That means the element will be a diagonal element. The diagonal element will keep on successively added into the variable total. It shows the error because the variable total is not initialized during the declaration.
one more nested for loop is used to display all the elements of the matrix the outer for loop is used to iterate through the row and the inner for loop is used to iterate through the columns The sum of the diagonal elements which is stored in the variable total will be displayed. Now execute and see the program output. Thank you for watching this video.